Rather than spend hours editing video at a desk away from my family, I've been using a Surface Book 2 to edit video from my couch, and that's worked out really well. So I wanted to share my setup and a few tips. So I'm using the highest powered Surface Book 2 with a 15 inch screen, a GTX 1060 graphics, 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabyte SSD, and an i7 processor. I have it connected to a pluggable USB-C mini docking station using a 100 watt USB-C cable. The dock is great because all from one cable you can charge at 85 watts and get additional USB ports, a video output, audio output, and a wired gigabit ethernet connection. I have the dock mounted under a table next to the couch so it keeps the setup really neat and clean. The front facing speakers on the Surface Book make for clear audio, but if you're around other people and you need to have some critical listening, I like to use this set of Sony WH-H900N headphones. You can connect them with Bluetooth, but that can add a time delay. So I prefer to use them wired, and I like that these have the versatility to do that and still have great sound quality. A great feature of the Surface Book for video editing is the 3 to 2 aspect ratio screen, which makes it a little bit taller than your typical 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and that gives you some extra vertical space for audio and video tracks. One thing to keep in mind here with the Surface Book and really any laptop, MacBooks included, is they're going to be limited by the amount of heat that they're going to generate. So the way that will work is once you give it a really intensive task to do, the temperature is going to increase, the fans are going to speed up, and the CPU will start throttling back its frequency. This really becomes more of an issue as you deal with higher resolution video files or more intensive codecs like H.265, but you're going to see some amount of throttling. And that's just something that you have to deal with with a laptop compared to a desktop. Now, most video editing programs have some way to deal with this, typically using a proxy workflow. And you can do this in my favorite video editor, DaVinci Resolve, using Optimize Media. Now, what this is going to do is take your video files and re-encode them to a format that's larger, but easier for the computer to work with while editing. It still keeps the original file and it uses that to export the final product, so there's no loss in quality, but you can do your editing with good fast files. So first off, open your project and go to Project Settings and Optimized Media and Render Cache. I've had decent luck using the default DNX HR HQX, but I prefer the LB setting, it's the lower bandwidth setting that makes the CPU use even lower and just makes for even smoother playback. So then go to playback and make sure use optimized media if available is selected and also go to render cache and select smart. Finally, go to the media panel and select all the files that you want to optimize. I'll just do this one. Right click and select generate optimized media. Once that's going, go ahead and click on the battery icon and select best performance. That will ramp the fans up quicker and it, that will help keep the performance up while you're rendering these files and while you're editing. And once this optimized media is ready, your editing will be nice and smooth. Another cool thing to do, uh, sometimes I need a second screen, and that's pretty easy to do with Windows 10 and my LG OLED B7P. You could use the output on the pluggable dock to connect a wired monitor, but I'm going to do this wirelessly using Intel's wireless display. So I'm going to turn on the TV and change the input to screen share. And then on the Surface Book, click on Notification Center. If it's not already expanded, click Expand, then Connect, and then choose the TV. Give it a few seconds, and then you're connected. Now that it's connected, I can drag whatever I want to the other screen and do some multitasking. Well, that's about it for my setup. 
I hope this has been helpful if you're doing anything like this. I'll leave links in the description if you want to check out any of my gear for yourself. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment and like and subscribe if you want to check out our other videos.